All right. I'm going to up its brightness a little bit. <sighs> Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. Um, if you're tuning in directly from Patreon, there is a way that you can open up the screen inside of YouTube so that you can use the chat function. Relatively easy to do. Okay, I hope that works. That should work. <laughs> Hey, Malia. Hello, hello. A <clears throat> uh, couple things that I want to be very transparent about before we get going today. Um, on Saturday, my, my hand balancing coach absolutely obliterated me and I'm still sore. <laughs> so we're just going to like, you know, whatever you pray to or don't pray to, just like say one for my quads right now. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, I was like running through the sequence I wanted to teach today and I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sore still. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I kind of brought it upon myself. That's what I do. <laughs> so if you took class on... Last Friday, we did the quick and dirty 30, right? And I threw in some pistol squats and I was like, oh my God, everything's great. And then the next day, my hand balancing coach, hi Beatrice, my hand balancing coach made me do this whole fucked up sequence with pistol squats from, but I I'm still a little traumatized, but anyways, I'm still <laughs> feeling it today. So yeah, so we're not going to do anything quad heavy, but in yoga, there isn't really anything super quad heavy unless you are specifically trying to train compression in the body, which we're not really doing today. Um, again, all this month, my goal and my intention, which I try to align uh, seasonally and energetically with myself and the world, is closing. Yeah. And I think a lot of um, Western yoga, at least, like the more asana focused, um, body focused, is it does a lot of opening. And I think it's really important to balance these two things within ourselves, yeah? And especially during this time specifically, at least in this hemisphere, <laughs> winter is for doing a little bit of closing down, a little bit of the completion of the cycle, of the circle, plus we're closing 2021. So before we do any more opening, we're going to close it down. <laughs> How are you guys doing? You good? You ready for some some movement? Mm. 
Yeah, and if you're just hopping on, welcome. And if you're tuning in from somewhere, let me know. I always love learning about where everybody's popping in from. If you're comfortable sharing that, of course. You don't have to if you don't want to. Mm. Yeah, I understand that feeling, being overwhelmed. <sighs> What's really great is that even though you're overwhelmed and very busy, is that you took some time to do a class for yourself. That's so good. <laughs> I have to drink this. We need some calories in me. I basically make like spinach peanut butter ice cream every morning <laughs> for myself. <laughs> if that sounds gross to you, I don't know. I make it really good, so. All right, yeah. I feel like I need to actually like on my channels and stuff, like make little things about what I, I like to make. Because <laughs> people ask me all the time and I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know. But my favorite every morning, frozen bananas, oat milk, spinach, blueberries, peanut butter, and a little bit of protein. And I'm set. It's my favorite. Mm. All right, folks. I say we get going. Let's do this shit. So I have my water. And um, if you need anything like props for class, if you need support for your knees, if you need blocks, all those things are available. But we're actually going to get started standing. <sighs> yes, foodies, I will make the food for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So again, I popped in that playlist in the chat and in the original uh, post. So we'll just start from the top there. <clears throat> but you can always move to whatever you want to move to, okay? So we're going to just do a more dynamic warm-up. You're going to stand uh, hip width distance apart, just comfortable. I'm just going to face you so that you can see me. And I want you to just twist and let your arms move. You can let this be really small or you can completely pivot off your back foot and get more of a rotation. Yeah, let your arms be super, super floppy and kind of like slap you a little bit as you move around. <laughs> and maybe they even go up higher. We don't wanna go higher than shoulder width this or shoulder height. Good, 10 more seconds. Nice. And then make your way all the way back into the center. And I want you to bring your left hand onto your right shoulder. Right shoulder, really, really, really nice and loose. You're gonna do a circle. And I want it to kind of have this downward momentum on it. So as you swing it in a circle, I want you to kind of feel a little bit of a stretch into the front of your shoulder. So keep going. Last three, two, and one other way. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So right hand onto your left shoulder. And again, it wants to have some looseness to it. Down, down, 
down. Last three, good, two, and one. Move in the other direction. And relax both of your arms down, give them a little shake. And then we're gonna move through your neck. So I want you to drop your chin towards your chest. And then take your left ear over towards your left shoulder, right ear over towards your right shoulder, and just move back and forth through the head and neck. And something I wanna encourage you to do is to feel through these transitions. Don't just think, oh, I'm here, I'm just gonna feel the side of my neck stretch. Feel the back of your neck stretch as you roll through that center point. Mm -hmm. Last one over to your right. Last one over to your left. And then I want you to meet me with your chin in the center. And I'm gonna have you take your hands behind your head, interlace them. Where I want them to be, the palms are gonna be right in a space called your sub-occipitals. So if you're thinking of your skull and where your neck connect, kind of right here is where your sub-occipitals are, right where the skull starts to protrude outwards before it curves upwards. So that's kind of where you want your hands to be. Now again, the chin is towards the chest and I want you to let the arms collapse around you while still maintaining that sense of height all throughout the rest of your body. Now let's use your inhale. I want you to open up your arms almost like butterfly wings, lift up your chest, open up the chin, look up and then close it back down. Good, we're gonna continue this a couple more times. Inhale, open, lift, and exhale, close. Good. <laughs> Let's do that three more times. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. <laughs> so good. Now meet me kind of in a neutral open. Release your hands down towards the earth. Hinge forward so that you're in a forward fold. Now we just did, again, all of that work through, kind of like through your thoracic, through your cervical spine. So here I want you to give permission, give permission to gravity to take your spine and elongate it. Yeah. Arms can just hang heavy. You can grab for your toes. You can even wrap your arms around the back of your legs. Now, depending on where you are in the world, so say you're on like west coast of the States, um, your spine is already nice and elongated. Maybe you just woke up. But if you're somewhere else, like if you're in Europe, you've already had a whole day, your spine might be a little more compressed. So in particular, my friends that are over in Europe, I'll really allow this to create space between your vertebra. Yeah. Nice. Now take one more round of breath here. Fantastic. And then I want you to plant your hands and step yourself back into a downward facing dog. Yeah. And the way I like to check my work, if I'm in the right alignment for my body, I like to come forwards into a high plank, making sure that my hips and my shoulders can be aligned. So if you're kind of too far forwards in your butt lifts, you know, step your feet back a little bit and then take yourself back into down dog. Now feel free to take all the movement here. If you're like TL, I like to rock a little bit side to side. I can feel it in my lats. I can feel it in my side body and in my hips. Now let's meet all the way back in center. And we're gonna move dynamically between our high plank 
in our downward facing dog, starting from the feet, lift your heels, contract into the low belly, roll that contraction all the way forwards into your shoulders, creating protraction. That is a word you're going to hear an annoying amount of times today. And then take it back into downward facing dog and remove that protraction. Keep going through these high plank to down dog rolls. <sighs> Focusing specifically, hi, good morning, Afro 53. Focusing specifically on when you roll forward, having that sense of push. Because again, everything we're doing is going to be opening the back line of the body. Good, I want you to do it three more times. Yeah. On your last one, which you may be coming up to next, when you come forward into high plank, I want you to lower your knees down to the ground so that you land on all fours into a tabletop position. We're going to do a shape called thread the needle. Now, your right arm is going to reach up towards the ceiling. So you're opening up through your chest. Try to make sure your hips don't move with you off to the side, push them back to center, and then go right arm underneath the left, drop your shoulder, Create space and then lower your ear to the ground. For me, this isn't about sensation and necessarily feeling a stretch. If you feel a stretch somewhere in your neck or in your shoulders, awesome. For me, this is about compartmentalizing my upper half and my lower half. So my core stays tight, my hips are staying in one spot while I create a rotation in my midsection. Good. Last three seconds. <laughs> uh-huh. Last two. So very good. On one, I want you to unravel yourself, taking yourself back to that open position. And then I want you to spin on this left knee, extend your right leg behind you so that you're in a modified side plank. For some of you, keeping the knee stacked directly underneath your hip can be a good place or a problematic place for you. Maybe you need to move the knee a little bit down so that you can bring the hips into alignment as if you were in a true side plank. Good, I want you to find this nice extension through this top arm and try to bring the bicep by your ear. Get long through the side body, one inhale. And with your exhale, let's take it all the way back down, tabletop position. Simple movement, but we're building a base. Left arm reaches high. Good, and then thread your needle on the other side. Left shoulder, left ear comes all the way down. And again, remember what I was talking about? Compartment, com wow, why is that hard to say? Compartmentalization. <laughs> it's even weirder to say when you're like contorting your body. Um, <laughs> think about the hips bumping back to center. I'm really feeling that all across my transverse abdominals when I Ah, I'm in that threading the needle shape. Now again, you're here for just a few more moments. I want you to focus on your breath, inhalations and exhalations. Wonderful, last three. Good, last two and one. Let's unwind that position, taking yourself back to center. And then we're gonna open up to our left-hand side for our modified side plank. Knee can be directly under hip, or the knee moves down and the hips shift into more of a true side plank position. Top arm can come up above, working bicep by the ear, but still plugging into the shoulder. Now, instead of coming straight back into your tabletop position, I want you to actually come into floating tabletop. So pull the left leg in, tuck the toes, and I want you to float your knees up above the earth. Rainbow your heels to the left and to the right. Twist, good, and twist. Now, while you are doing those hip twists side to side, try to see if you can still push and protract the shoulders. Sometimes what happens is we get a little overwhelmed downstairs and our posture starts to break down. So try to, again, keep pushing away from the ground, 
10 more seconds. Good, good, good. You got it. We said lateral movement today, didn't we? Last three. Good. Last two. And one. You're all the way back to center. And then push back into downward facing dog. You're going to end up in a shorter version of that down dog. I want you to widen your base and your feet. Step them out a little bit. Make sure you also still have weight in your hands. Down dog twist. Right arm goes under the body for the outside of your left leg. Where on the leg? Anywhere. You can grab for the outside of the calf, down by the ankle. You can even scoop underneath the heel, but that asks for a lot of confidence in that shoulder. <laughs> Good. Last three. Last two. And one. Do that down dog twist on the other side. So when you bring that right hand back to the ground, make sure it's even with your left before you switch. Good. Again, left hand is trying to find outside of the thigh, calf, maybe even underneath the foot. If you feel like most of your weight is in your foot or in your legs, then I want you to try to adjust a little bit and get some weight in your right hand. Trying to peek underneath the shoulder. This is great unilateral work. Last five. Good. Four. Nice. Three two, and one. Take yourself back into that foreshortened downward facing dog. And we're going to push back into a shape called beast. If you're familiar with your animal style flow, bend into your knees, look to the front, and then let's travel. You can step there. You can hop. We'll go big toes touching. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's up the ante a little bit. Reach the arms up to the sky. Big breath in. Hands through heart center, forward fold. Take it all the way down. Good. Halfway lift. Lengthen. Plant your hands. Step back to a high plank. Shift your body weight forward. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Shift forward another inch. Upward facing dog. Lift your chest. Open up through your collarbones. Exhale. Take it back. Downward facing dog. We're going to repeat that simple Surya A four more times. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Travel to the top of your mat. You can step there. You can also take a little hop, but I want you to land with control. Halfway lift, inhale. Good, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands through heart center, hinge from your hip line, take it down. Feel that work into the hamstrings as you go. Halfway lift, lengthen, hands on shin bones or the floor. Exhale, plant your hands. You can step back. You can also do jump backs, but I do want you to land with control and bend elbows if you choose to do that. Urdva, open up your chest. Big back bend. Exhale, peel it back, downward facing dog. Three more times. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Yeah. Again, you're traveling to the top, halfway lift, forward fold, rise up to standing, and then exhale, forward fold. Take it all the way down, hinging from hip line. Halfway lift, fold to plant, shatas. Mm -hmm. And meeting downward facing dog, two more. Lift your heels, bend your knees, travel. If you're really trying to work for those floats, I want you to grip into your fingertips as you do that transition. Yeah. Good. After you rise all the way up, nice and tall, hands through heart center, forward fold. You got it. If you're like, oh my God, where are we going? No worries. Do your own type of improvisation. I trust you. Nobody's watching. <laughs> Good. We meet back in down dog. I want to do one more with a little extra piece on it. Travel to the front of your space. Once you arrive again, halfway lift. And with your exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way up towards your standing. And again, forward fold. Take it all the way back down through center. Halfway lift, hands on the ground. 
Lift up your heels, bend your knees, open up the knees wide, try to touch them onto your triceps. Now, I just want you to feel this with straight arms first. I know everybody's like, oh, bend your elbows, prepare for crow pose. But I actually want you to feel this with straight arms. Yeah? This is the type of stuff that can prepare us for doing things like tuck handstands, press to handstand. I want you to feel the strength in your shoulders and the strength in your arms and triceps. Now, if you insist on doing a crow position, then you can absolutely bend your elbows, lean forward, pick up a foot, pick up another foot so that you're in an arm balance. Yeah. But you can also bring the straight arms back. My hands, when I'm doing this type of work, I'm gripping the shit out of my mat. It looks like this. This is called cambering your hands. Yeah, this is how we're preventing ourselves from falling over our head. Think of these like your feet, just like when you're standing and your toes catch you, fingertips are doing the same. If you're still in that crow, keep holding for three, keep holding for two and one. If you have jump backs from crow, you can do your jump backs. You can step back again. We'll meet in our downward facing dog. And we're gonna hold in that downward facing dog for five breaths. Good, yeah. Downward facing dog is not a resting pose. Whoever told you that is a liar. Mm-hmm. Yes. Last two breaths. Good. Now from that downward facing dog, I want you to lift up your right leg, keep the shoulders closed, but open up your hip. Good. When you open your hip, bend your knee and think about trying to anchor your left heel down to the ground as you do that. Good. Now let's take our right knee and we're going to bring it forwards towards our right tricep. Give it a little tap. Bam. Inhale, lift your right leg back high. And take your left knee to left tricep. Give it a tap. Good. Let's try it one more time. Right leg high. Protract your shoulders. Touch right tricep. Ugh. I know it's a power flow. Barf. Right knee, left tricep. Now lift it up one more time and we're going to do straight through center and we'll try to step through low lunge. Heel first, and then we're gonna lift up into our high crescent position. Softness in your back knee and lengthen to your tailbone. Now I want you to take both of your arms in front of you and maintain again a protraction shape in the shoulders. Right arm is gonna go under the left, bend at the elbows and point them up towards the sky, your fingers. Now if you're a little limited on shoulders, you can bring your hands onto your shoulders, or you can wrap all the way around into an eagle position. Palms touch, there you go. Yeah, again, you're still in this shape, but we're gonna do a couple of openers and closers. I want you to pull the elbows in towards your navel and bring your body weight forwards. Good, bring it back up. Try to lift the fingertips up to the sky. Feel a stretch into your lats and your shoulders and exhale again, bring it back forwards, pull. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull the elbows in. Now stay hinged forward, release your arms, sweep them back behind you, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through the fingertips and then pivot and adjust. Take yourself open into a Vera two. Organize the hips underneath you. As you get the hips underneath you, see that your right knee is still tracking over the center line of your foot. Good, because sometimes we adjust the hips and then the legs start doing their own thing. So try to make sure that you're correcting both. <laughs> Very good. Now let's turn your right palm up to the sky and we're gonna do reverse warrior. So you're gonna open up the side body like it is. Yeah. Come back through center and work into your skandasana over to the left or your lateral lunge. So lateral lunge, toes are gonna to point towards the edge of your mat. Left knee is gonna be bent. 
If you're in your skanda, right side of toes turn up to the sky and you've got a hell of a lot more depth here. Last three. Good, last two. And we're gonna pivot to the back of our space. So look towards where your left leg is and I want you to rotate the entire body. Take the weight into your left foot, lift up your right leg so that you're in a standing split. Any degree, I know split can sound a little crazy to us, <laughs> but whatever the gradient is, how high your leg is, that's good. Blocks can come underneath your hands. You can hold the standing split and feel it. You can make it more dynamic by tapping right knee to left calf, giving the hamstring a break, and then re-extending into that split. We are gonna be working on some inversions. So if you're absolutely feeling ready, you can try some handstand hops here. But, but if you are doing that, keep your top leg relatively in the same place and let your bottom leg do the work. How does that happen? Same way that we work through dance technique and jumps. Plie, and then you propel, yeah? So we got 10 more seconds here. Plie, up, up, yeah? Same concepts. <laughs> But of course, the application is another story. Ah, last five seconds. Four. Good. Three. Last two. <laughs> and one. If you're working handstands, you can hop back, go through a chaturanga. If you were just working your standing split, step right foot to the back, step left foot back, even ekapada, and move through. Upward facing, downward facing. Now we're still on our right side. Listen, take your right knee cross body to the left tricep. Extend it out and open up your chest. Left arm reaches up to sky. Good. Close it back down and I want you to hold. Flex the hell out of your right foot. You're gonna feel this in your IT band and you're gonna curse my name. Damn you, TL. And I know, because I would love to add on a chaturanga. Bend the elbows, push it back up, and lift the right leg to the sky. Inhale, breath. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Now, right away, pivot all 10 toes to the left side of your mat. What do I know? You could be missing a toe from a tragic toe accident. So maybe you don't have 10. If that's you, it's okay. However many toes you got, lengthen out like you've got a half lift working, and then open up your arms out to the side. Bend your left knee, come back through center and bend your right. Good, keep going side to side, five, four, three, two, and one, you're back in center, heels in, toes out, stand tall, bend into your knees down into a second position. Right arm underneath your left, recreate that eagle arm position. We're gonna go clockwise, circle, body goes down, back is gonna stretch, and all the way up. <laughs> yeah, it's intense, okay? <laughs> Last one in this direction. And then we'll go the other way. <laughs> Two. Good. Last one. Open up your arms out to the side. Down and up an inch. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, I'm sorry, six, five. My damn quads, I told you we weren't gonna do this. <sighs> Last two and one. Pivot off this right leg, adjust yourself to the front, high to mid plank. Upward facing. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. All right, left leg is gonna lift, hip is gonna open. Think about anchoring your right heel down to the ground. We're gonna do all this shit on the other side. <laughs> left knee, left tricep, pull it forward, protract shoulders. You got it. <sighs> left leg lifts, left knee, right tricep. One more time. Leg lifts, left tricep. <sighs> leg lifts, right tricep. Leg back high, you're gonna go straight through center and you're gonna step through, try to go heel first. Rise and stack all the way up, high crescent. Tail go nice and long and then you're gonna reach your arms forward in front of you. Now cross left under right, bend the elbows. Either grab your shoulders, full wrap around. So you're in your proper, prop, Proper eagle arm. Okay, hinge it forward, pull the elbows in. And then bring it back up. Try to lift, separate the shoulder blades and pull it back in. You guys are doing so good. Pull it in, hinge forward, lift it back up. Last time, pull it in. I want you to stay, release the arms, take them back behind you. Good, now pivot your back heel, open up Vera two. Party, reach to front and back. <sighs> Get the hips under you. Adjust the left knee. And then we'll reverse it. Left palm to sky, side body stretch. And we'll take it back through center. Lateral run. Oh my God, I'm fired. Lateral lunge. <laughs> I'm firing myself. Right knee is gonna bend, left leg is nice and long, or skanda. So you got a bit more of a turnout, and you're down deeper. Still active though, okay? Last three, last two, and we turn to the back over our right foot. Standing split, left leg lifts. Again, you can stay, work on your split. You can make it a little more active. I like doing those taps because I get a little break and then I get a little work. If you are working your handstand hops, same thing, you have the time here. I like to usually get myself a little more center mat to do those. Top leg, stay still. Bottom leg, plie, propel, yeah? because if this left leg is swinging around, a lot of potential for us to get off balance and we're trying to get balanced. Last three, last two. And however you wanna go through, high to mid plank, up to you, up to you. And we're back in downward facing dog. Now right away, left knee is gonna come cross body over to right tricep. We're gonna extend it out to the side. Right arm is going to reach up, we're opening up, but we're staying pretty stacked in our pelvis area. Now let's close it down. If you notice, I'm on the toes of my right foot and I'm gonna flex my left. I wanna feel it in my IT band. And if you add it on the little push up, bend the elbows, push it back up, left leg up to sky, inhale breath. Exhale, knee to nose, step through the lunge. Pivot all 10 toes and lift up like a halfway. Open up the arms. Lateral movement side to side, or you can work your skandhas side to side. Arm position, really up to you. Depends on how hard you wanna work. We're back in center in three, two, good, and one. We'll bring it all the way up to stack. 
Ah, turn the toes out, the heels in. And you're gonna bend into your knees, taking yourself down. Now left arm goes under right. And again, we're gonna start clockwise. So we'll go around and down. Really let yourself hang. Feel that stretch into the back. We're doing three in one direction, and then we'll go in the other direction. Other way, let's go. Good, once you're back in center, arms open up out to the side. Again, 10 little pulses with the option of the heels up, ha. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pivot off your back foot, take it back to the front, move through your high to mid. <laughs> Upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog. Feel free to break by taking child's pose, puppy pose even, or you can stay in your downward facing dog or intensify an opening in the shoulders by coming down onto your forearms. Yeah. And if you're working <laughs> through forearm stand or anything like that, you have time to do it here. We're gonna go hard on this last flow though, okay? We're gonna pull out all the bells and whistles. <laughs> 15 more seconds of your break or non-break, should you choose to take it. Get a little emotional support from an animal if you have it. Hi, Pi. <laughs> She's off screen. The off screen baby. All right, you guys ready for your last big round? I can tell you are. I can tell. Okay, we're back into downward facing dog in five, four, three, two, downward facing dog. Right leg is going to lift up, hip is going to open. Right knee is gonna tap your right tricep. If you absolutely need it, you can bend the elbows, take off into a hurdlers. Right leg lifts back up to sky. Right knee, left tricep. You can kick it out to the side, reach your left arm up to the sky. You can even close it down and add in one more of those cross body chaturangas. Right leg lifts up to sky. Knee to nose, step through low lunge. We're not doing it twice. Lift up into your high crescent position. Mm -hmm. Reach your arms straight forward in front of you and then take off, single legged mountain. Lift up. Cross the left leg over the right and sit into your eagle legs. Foot can be off to the side. You can wrap it behind, but try to keep knees in the center line of the body. Wrap right underneath your left. Take a breath in. And with your exhale, we're gonna pull elbows towards our navel, wow, and find a contracted shape. <laughs> I chose eagle because I'm like, I, I hate this, this shit. <laughs> Contract again, lift it back up. Last time we're gonna contract. Good, and I want you to hold it right here. See how much of that contraction you can create. For three, <laughs> for two, and one. Lift back up, keep the arms, just unravel the legs. And we're gonna go into Eagle Arm Airplane or Eagle Arm Warrior Three. Try to pull the fingertips away from the chest. Release your arms back or forwards. And then take a big step back. Warrior two, inhale, reverse. Exhale, skandasana or low lateral lunge. 
And then we'll pivot to our left foot and go through our standing split. Now my friends that are doing handstands, if you're feeling it, see if you can add an eagle leg in your handstand position. So when I go from um, a standing split in my left leg on the ground, this is the one that's gonna hook under. Lift. And then left leg is gonna bend, right leg bends, and you create the connection. So if you're working on that level of control, <laughs> it's a tough bitch. Hold wherever you are for five. Good, for four. I know, last three. <laughs> Last two, and one. Left foot is down, right foot is back. <laughs> you go through your high to mid. <sighs> Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now right away, right knee, left tricep. Swivel out to the side. We've already done this when we went through our first half, right? So something I want to offer on that's really strange and weird, pull yourself back a little bit. Lifting up through this right leg, wrapping it around your left. So it's like an eagle-legged side plank, okay? Not fun. Not in the slightest. Hold it for three. Hold it for two. <laughs> and one. Return your left hand down to the ground. Perhaps you swivel all the way over to the other side. Undo the eagle craziness and extend the right leg up to the sky. Good, pull that leg in. Step through to low lunge. Pivot into your wide fold. Feel yourself elevate. Open up your arms. Move laterally one time to the left, one time to the right. And then we're skipping all that extra sequence to take ourselves all the way back to our original front, high to mid. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. If you've made it this far, you are so close. Left leg up to sky, let's do it. Open up your hip. Good. Left knee, left tricep. Take it around the side, squeeze. If you did it on the other side, take off so that you go into your hurdlers. <sighs> Lift it back up. Left knee, right tricep, extend it out. Reach. Or add on that chaturanga. <sighs> Left leg back up to sky. Need to know, step through low lunge. High crescent. Take off on that back foot. Single legged, crossover eagle position. Left arm under right, create connection. Try to lift and then pull it in. Good, lift it up. And again, pull it in. <laughs> Lift it up. Oh, shit. Pull it in and hold. Hold that contraction. Hold that closure. <sighs> Elevate again, untangling the right leg, but keep the arms. Eagle arm airplane. Try to pull the elbow away from the chest. You can release the arms back or forwards for three, two. Good, step it back on one, warrior two. Fuck, that's tough. Reverse warrior. Exhale, skanda or lateral lunge. I'm holding on by a thread, you guys. Pivot to the right. Standing split. 
whatever you want. If you're working on your handstands, this is your last one. Trying to add on eagle legs into your handstand hold. Ooh. <laughs> so again, your bottom foot, your right leg is on the floor. That's gonna be the one that pulls in and goes around the left side. <sighs> tough, tough, tough stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Sometimes it happens for me, sometimes it doesn't. So wherever you are, hold for five, <sighs> hold for four. <laughs> Good, last three, two, Release on one and work through your high timid plank. Good. Now right away from that downward facing dog, left knee is gonna pull cross body and extend out to the side. Now we're gonna pull in a little bit, try to wrap this left leg around our right. Side plank eagle leg. And we'll roll it back through center. Unravel it and try to kick the leg up to the sky. Woof. Ah! For three, for two, and one. Take it through. <laughs> Low lunge. Pivot into your wide fold. Lift up halfway. One time, we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna go to the left. Back to the right and through your high to mid plank. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Nice work, step to the top. Come all the way up into standing and turn to one side of your mat. Nice job. We're doing our last two pieces of class and it's mainly an exploratory movement drill to get your brain thinking a little bit, get your neurons firing a little bit. <laughs> you guys are great. So this one, kind of a combo between dance and yoga, but I don't want you to that to freak you out if you're not a dancer or if you're not feeling very comfortable with yoga, okay? Just try, just explore a little bit. So I'm facing, if I was facing the front, I'm facing the right side of my mat, just so I explain it on the, on the right leg for you, okay? We're gonna bend into our knees, reach our arms forward in front of us, good. Wrap the right over the left, eagle position. Opposite arm goes under, ding, 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 ding. Now pull the elbows in towards the tummy, but not your deepest, just about halfway. I want you to unravel this leg, hold it right by your side. Cross the arms across you, extend this right leg out to the side. Good, open up through the arms, big step through center, and then push yourself over to the other side up to standing. Yeah? Thoughts, feelings? We hate it, we love it. Okay, great. Bend into your knees, reach the arms forward. I'm sweating like a pig. Lift up the left leg, cross it over. Boop, boop, boop. Right under left. Thanks, David's perspective. <laughs> Elevate and pull in. Hold, unravel this left leg. Open up out to the side. I still have a micro bend in my right leg. Open up as you step, back over to the left and step together. Good, wanna try just one more time and then we'll leave it. <laughs> this one's tough. Now, just a little note with the leg out to the side, I'm not straight. I've got a little micro bend, a little plie, okay? 
bend, reach, cross over. Left under right, pull it in. Unravel, open, and step, shift. Back together, bend, left over right, right under left. Pull underneath, <laughs> uncross, open up out to the side, and step, shift together. Very good. So, so, so amazing. Let's come down onto all fours. The last exercise I wanna do is more of an animal flow movement than anything, but can be really good for your coordination. After this, we're done. So, we're gonna move to the center of our mat. This is a combo I'm still working on. I don't do this beautifully, which is why I wanna work on it. So we're gonna go from that beast position <laughs> on all fours. <laughs> Oh yeah, as well as a yoga person, yeah. Good, that's amazing, I love that. Maybe you'll like this one too, David, because this is a fun one. So you're on all fours with the knees floating off the ground. Remember we did that twist earlier? So you're gonna move the knees to the right and you're gonna kick your left leg underneath you, reach the right arm up to the sky. Now you can just do this movement, hooray, hooray. You extend, pull. Extend, pull, or you add <laughs> a little bit of an arm balance in between those positions. So after you kick out to the side, you're gonna pull up, try to go into a, some sort of handstand, lower the foot down, do it on the other side, lift up, foot comes down, you kick out. The trouble with this for me is getting the right foot down for the right thing. <laughs> So let's see how it goes, shall we? This could be an absolute public disaster. All right, all fours, twist, extend, pull up, through to the other side. Through, kick, through. And that's usually what happens. I overshoot my mark a little bit. So whatever you're trying out, you got 20 more seconds. Whether that's just your pull, ee, or your pull, hop in the handstand and back down. It's very cardiocentric, is it not? All right, that is tough. I'm ready to cool down now. We'll put our butts on the ground. We'll go feet together. <laughs> and we'll open up our knees. We're gonna close downwards and open up our hips. This will also bring your heart rate down a little bit if it's pretty elevated like mine. All right, let's walk you all the way back up. <sighs> we'll shift you off to one side. Let's bring you down to your tummy. <sighs> and again, we did all of those eagle things, so I'm gonna throw in one more eagle arm thing. And I'm gonna try to not 
muddle my microphone into my chest. So I'm gonna put it right there. Now you may wanna to block to do this for your shoulders. I'm gonna put one right in front of me and I'm gonna place my right elbow on top. Good. Left arm is gonna cross over and I'm going to create that connection and slowly kind of scoot myself away here. And you may feel this a lot or a little. Hmm. Face is just gonna kind of smoosh in between those arms. <laughs> oh. All right, let's do the other side. Uncross. Give your shoulders a second if they need it. I'll bring this mic like right here. And then we'll do the other side. So left elbow goes on top. And then right arm is gonna go over. Ooh. And again, the palms are gonna try to touch. You can also just touch your shoulders. Good, last five seconds. And let's let it go. Ooh, let's flip you like a pancake. Ugh, everything from here on out is chill zone 5000, okay? Getting yourself onto your back. We'll take your leggies up to the sky. Circle out your ankles. Maybe rub your legs together like a cricket. Get some nice stimulation for your nervous system. And you can hang out right here. This is so great. This is a great way to calm yourself down right before bed too, legs up the wall. You can also literally do this position on a wall, really nice. But if you would like a little more shoulder stand, you can pike, lift your hips, support your low back, both hands. I'm just holding my microphone because this shape is really hard to do with a microphone attached to your chest. <laughs> now I want you to think about stacking the hips above your shoulders as best you can. You can stay here all day. You can move the legs, la, la, la. You can also bring your feet up above you. This is called plow position. And plow position can get turned into deaf man's pose, knees bend. Now from here, love's really nice and slow. Slow reverse pike down. <sighs> and landing in any position you like for a couple moments of meditation. In a yoga practice, this is called Shavasana. And I like to think of it as an opportunity to reflect on everything that I've done in the past hour, hour and a half, however long the class was. You can close your eyes, keep them open. But I want you to give your body full permission to be heavy on the ground.
start to take some breaths. And bring some movement back into your body. It can be very small movements, even big movements. And you can stay here on your back or you can roll all the way off to one side and push yourself up into a seat. <laughs> Thank you, Malia. In respect of your time, friends, give yourself a bit of gratitude, actually a whole bunch of gratitude for creating this time for yourself. That was a very tough practice also. And thank you for the privilege of moving your body today. Thank you so much for coming to this live stream. This happens every single Monday. Yay! <laughs> and this is my one open to the public class. So if you would like to take more classes with me, um, I'll be talking about those other classes in just a second. Oh. Amazing job, everyone. <sighs> so sweaty. Oh, man. Yeah. Me too, Steph. Your girl is sweaty. You're so welcome. Thanks for coming. <laughs> we like to start Mondays aggressive, you know? Go a little bit wild. Um, let me see what our future classes are. Um, again, every Monday we have that power flow. If this was really tough and you're looking for something more accessible, every Thursday I live stream on Zoom, so it's not on YouTube. Um, but it's a beginner's class and it's very, very, very beginner friendly. So that's every Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. If you wanna to come to that class, reach out to me. I'll make sure you can get in there even if you just wanna try it, yeah. Um, Friday, December 17th, we're doing bar. And then December 31st, I'm doing a yin and yang class to close the year off. <sighs> well, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your Monday. <sighs> I'm definitely feeling like I was rode hard and put away wet. <laughs> and if you ever need to reach out, I'll put my Instagram handle. Um, and if you want to tag me in a story, that too, all that is welcome. Love it. Should we have a pie moment? 
Pie, they want you, baby. Come here, love. I'm going to scoop you up like a pancake. I know. Oh. oh. There you go. Everybody loves you. And they need to see you. <laughs> I just deeply disturbed her morning. But you also spend all day in this damn basket, baby. Oof. All right, y'all, I'm going to close up the stream. Yeah, she made the bread. <laughs> I'm going to close up the stream because I have an appointment to get to. <laughs> She's big loaf, big loaf energy. Um, but yeah, thanks again for coming. And I hope I get to see you guys maybe at Beginner's Flow this week or next Monday. All right. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.